Hey, what's up guys? I'm here from AndroidRoots.com and today we're taking a look at a new ROM for your Samsung Galaxy Nexus GSM, Verizon, and Sprint. So it's going to be sorting all three variants of Galaxy Nexus. And this ROM is called Illusion ROM and the cool thing is why you would really want to install and flash this ROM on your Galaxy Nexus device is the key lamp eye theme and the cool transitions that you get with this. What I mean by this, as you can see, it's a little bit different. Wallpaper looks pretty darn sweet. That's a new key lamp eye theme. Um, and if we go ahead and go into our toggles, as you can see, it's a little bit different. Let's say if we go and tap on brightness, look at the little square icon. As you can see, the color is a little bit different when you tap on it. Let me show it to you one more time if you guys didn't catch that. And we'll tap on settings this time. As you can see, the color comes up, which is really, really cool. I really like that. So we'll go back into regular settings just for now. Um, as you can see, the background of the settings application actually has a nice cool blue and, you know, a Google Play triangle, I believe that is, of a nice blue orange purplish green to it um it's really cool it really pops out and really makes your phone really different from the rest of you know all the android other users and overall it makes your phone really refreshes it and just gives you a whole overall new look to it um on top of that as you can see there are new transitions <laughs> that's probably my second favorite out of this one is the theme second is transition transitions um, so if we go into settings check out the transition uh just the where the apps go away from as you can see Boom, the uh, home screen went this way. The settings apps came from top to bottom, which is really cool. Um, really does just make it a whole new thing, refreshes the whole new thing. I really do like it. Um, and if you guys, uh, once you install it, it doesn't come by default, the Key Lime Pie theme, but just go into themes under settings and just go ahead and apply it right here. And it'll just easily apply it. Let me give it a few seconds. Uh, no reboot required, super easy to do. So as you can see, um, and on top of the theme and transition, you also get cool features. So if we go under interface, you have options like privacy guard where you can go and limit permissions for each application individually, which is really cool. I'm not going to go into that as I went over it in a different video. If I find that video, if I remember it, I'll leave it in the video description. Um, you also have options for display, sounds, uh, power menu, Wi-Fi, and all that. We'll go through a couple of these. So we'll go and select power menu. Um, and I already selected screenshots, so whenever I hold down the power button now, um, I have all these options with screenshots. So I'm going to go and tap on screenshot, and it should take a screenshot of the current screen that you're on. Pretty darn cool and super easy to use. Uh, if we go back out of that, you also have Halo, which is nice. Um, you also have Pie Control. Let me show you that. Oh, I actually changed it to this side. Uh, there's Pie Control, so home, back, and uh, recents right there too. Um, you also have RAM, recent RAM bar, so you can check out how much RAM is used, how much is free, and how much is other. Of course, you can go and color code that as you wish, your per DPI. Um, you also have the cyanogen clock, or cyanogen clock, I almost messed that up. So you have cyanogen clock widget, um, I'll go and show you that too. Uh, so if we can go into here, widgets right here, we should go and find it uh, right here. So here's C clock, this is from cyanogen mod, I think it's already on there. Um, so there it is, so it's a nice clean one. And then you can go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, put all your settings in, clock and alarm, and, you know, all the weather panel and all that, too. And you can just do a check mark to uh, confirm it. So there it is. Okay, so it's, a, it's the same one. <laughs> I thought it looked similar. <laughs> um, and let's go ahead and take a look at settings and maybe a couple new features. So we'll go back into interface. And, oh. I keep tapping on these. Um, the something with my phone screen specifically is wrong. Um, it's actually physical. Um, so it's not gonna, it's not the RAM problem. It's just my phone is messed up. So I have to replace the screen or put on a screen projector or something like that. So I'll try to get it fixed before the next RAM review. Um, you also have you know clack lock screen. So I'm going to uh, select that too. You can change the background color or you know wallpaper. So you can probably do fill color, full transparency. I'll show you the full transparency. So I'll show you that real quick. And then you can see whatever is behind it. You still have to unlock it. <laughs> kind of useful, I guess. Or to show off to your friends if you'd like it. Um, but there are so many other things, you know, like slider targets and all that. I really don't want to bore you guys with all these features as I know many of you guys have seen similar features like this or seen it in my other ROM reviews, guys. What I really want to show you guys was the transitions and the themes for Illusion ROM. That's what I really want you guys to let you know and the main reason why you would want to go ahead and install this ROM on your Galaxy Nexus GSM, Verizon, and Sprint, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom left-hand corner right there. It really does 
does help me out a lot and really does show me that you guys support me on all these ROM reviews and just basically Android videos. I really do appreciate those likings. I literally well, watch those likes go up. And guys, if you have any questions, comments, leave it down below. I literally read 100% of my comments. I can only respond to so many, so leave it down below and I'll try to get back to you guys if you have any questions or leave it down below what you think about this ROM. If you have any problems, experience with this ROM at all, leave it down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, link down below. One link down below in the video description for this ROM. And that is what I really want to end up with. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later. Peace. And don't forget to follow me, like me, and add me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. All three social networks are in the description of the video. Thanks, guys. Peace.